Isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang intindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nandito ako para tulungan ka. Ang mathematics ay gagawin natin easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Lesson 10. Solving routine and non-routine word problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money. Objective. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and word problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money using appropriate problem solving strategies. Let's start by defining the routine problem and non-routine problem. Routine problem solving is a type of problem with an immediate solution. It involves at least one of the four arithmetic operations to solve the problem. While non-routine problem solving is any complex problem that requires some degree of creativity and originality. Oftentimes, non-routine problem can be solved in multiple ways. They can be solved by drawing a picture, using a number line, acting out, or making a table, and others. To solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of whole number, follow the simple steps. Step 1 is understand. You need to know what is asked and know the given fact. If any, determine the hidden questions. Step 2 is plan. Determine the operation to be used and write the number sentence. Step 3, solve, write your solution and use the operation to solve. And number 4, check and look back. Write the correct answer and do not forget to write your answer in complete sentence. Let's try to solve this word problem. Shane made 80 Sampagita garlands. Each garland cost 15 pesos. If she sold all the Sampagita garlands, how much will she earn for the garlands? Step 1 is understand where we need to look, look for letter A, what is asked in the problem. We can directly say that the answer is how much will Shane earn for selling some Pagita garlands? Or you can write your answer as Shane's total earnings in selling some Pagita garlands. B. What are the given facts? Given facts are the important clues or number that we can use in solving the problem. So in this problem, we have 80 Sampagita garlands and 15 pesos for each Sampagita garlands. Step 2, we will now start planning how we will solve the problem. First is to determine the operation to be used and that is multiplication. Then Write the number sentence. Since uh, we have 80 Sampagita garlands and 15 pesos for every Sampagita garlands, we can write the number sentence as 80 times 15 is equals to N, where N stands for Shane's total earnings in selling the Sampagita garlands. Step 3. We will solve the problem. This is where we write our solution. So 80 times 15 is 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 8 is equals to 40. 1 times 0 is 0. Don't forget to leave a space. And then 1 times 8 is 8. Then add the partial product. Bring down 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. And lastly, 4 plus 8 is 12. For the last step, check and look back. So we can write our answer as 
Shane's total earnings in selling Sampaguita garlands is 1,200 pesos. Let's have another example. Pen Pen supplies 10 dozens of eggs a day to a store. How many eggs does he supply to the store in two weeks? Step 1 is understand. Wherein we need to look for first is what is asked. We can directly say that the answer is how many eggs does he supply to the store in two weeks or you can write your answer as total number of eggs pen pen supplies in two weeks. And then we look for the given facts. Given facts are the most important clues or numbers that we can use in solving this problem. So the given facts is 10 dozens and 2 weeks. But we cannot directly multiply that. So we need to get the hidden value. So we all know that 1 dozen is equivalent to 12 pieces. So 10 dozen means we have 10 times 12 is equals to 120 pieces. Then 1 week is equivalent to 7 days. So for 2 weeks, 2 times 7 is equals to 14 days. Step 2, we will now start planning how we will solve the problem. We will determine the operation to be use and that is multiplication. Now to write the number sentence, we will just write the given and the operation to be used. So we have 120 times 14 is equals to N, wherein N stands for the total number of eggs pen pen supplies in a store in two weeks. Then step three, we will solve the problem. This is where we write our solution. So we have 120 times 14. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 0 is 0. Don't forget to leave a space. 1 times 2 is equals to 2. And then 1 times 1 is equals to 1. Then add the partial product. Bring down 0. 8 plus 0 is 8. Then 4 plus 2 is 6. Lastly, bring down 1. For the last step, check and look back. We need to write our answer in complete sentence so we can say that pen pen supplies 1680 pieces of eggs in two weeks now to check your mastery read and analyze the problem solve the problem by applying the steps in solving word problems your timer starts now
time's up! Let's check your work! So for problem number one, Aldrin bought 12 boxes of biscuits. Each box contained 125 pieces of biscuits. How many biscuits does he have? Step one is to understand. We look for what is asked. So we can write our answer as how many biscuits does Aldrin have? Or we can write it as total number of biscuits Aldrin bought. Then we look for the given facts. So given facts are the most important clues or numbers that we can use in solving the problem. So in this problem, we have 12 boxes of biscuits and 125 pieces of biscuits per box. So for step two is we'll now start planning how to solve the problem. So to do that, we need to determine the operation to be used. So we will use multiplication. Then let's write the number sentence so we have 125 times 12 is equals to n where n stands for the total number of biscuits aldrin bought then step three we will solve for the problem this is where we write our solution so let's try 125 times 12 2 times 5 is 10. Since it is in 2 digit, we write 0 here and then carry 1. Then 2 times 2 is equals to 4 plus the 1 that we carry is equals to 5. 2 times 1 is equals to 2 and then 1 times 5 is equals to 5. Don't forget to leave a space and then 1 times 2 is 2 and then 1 times 1 is 1. Then add the partial product. So we need to bring down 0. 5 plus 5 is 10. So write the 0 and then carry 1. Then 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. And lastly, bring down 1. For the last step, check and look back. We write our answer in complete sentence. So we can say that Adrian bought 1,500 pieces of biscuits. Then for number two, in a mini concert, the ticket booth sold 85 booklets. Each booklet has 10 tickets. If tickets cost 20 pesos, how much is the total sale of the boot? Step one is to understand and we look for what is asked in the problem. So we could write how much is the total sale of the boot or we could write our answer as total sales of the ticket boot. Then next, what are the given facts? So we have... Um, 85 booklets and each booklet has 10 tickets so we need to first get the total number of tickets so 85 times 10 is 850 tickets then each ticket costs 20 pesos step 2 is plan so we will determine the operation to be used and that is multiplication then we will now write the number sentence. We can have two number sentence here. So we can have 85 times 10 times 20 equals N. But since we already solved for the total number of tickets, I would write the number sentence as 850 times 20 is equals to N. Where N stands for the total sales of the ticket boot. Step 3. We will solve for the problem. This is where we write our solution. So 850 times 20 is 0 times 0, 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 8 is again 0. 2 times 0 is 0. Don't forget to leave a space. And then 2 times 5 is 10. Write the 0 here and then carry 1. 2 times 8 is 16 plus 1 that we carry and then the sum is 17. Then add the partial product. So bring down 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 
zero and then lastly bring down one and seven for the last step uh, check and look back we can write the answer as the total sales of the ticket boot is 17,000 did you get the perfect score yeah! excellent if you learn from this video don't forget to click the subscribe button and the post notification bell to be updated on the next lesson once again this is your teacher joy saying ang mahirap na math problems ay kaya nating padaliin see you in our next lesson bye bye